Hey everybody, it's uh, I forgot, it's Thursday, but October 26th, and I want to do a video kind of follow up with Printful and WordPress WooConverse because uh, Printful updated their plugin for WordPress a week or so ago, and it's got a lot of cool new features. One of the biggest new features is if you remember back in my first video on doing WooCommerce with uh, Printful is that if you had a WordPress Woo site dedicated to Printful com uh, products, it was great because it had the plugin would do all the shipping calculations for you according to Printful's costs and calculate weights and zip codes and all that. And it was great. But if you had a site like I do with my vinyl site that has t-shirts and stuff on it, a hybrid site is what we'll call it, you had to set up shipping classes you, because I had my flat rate shipping for all my decals, but then I had to set up shipping classes for all the different products of Printful, and that's how I did my shipping. Um, this new plugin gets rid of all that, and it's sweet. So I'm going to show you real quick. This is the Printful plugin dashboard on WordPress. Uh, real quick, what it shows you here, it shows you your sales. It shows you quick links to Printful and parts of Printful. Um, real quick, I'll show you right here on settings. It shows you your, your API key. Don't look at that. Um, shows you all your standard shipping uh, services that are available with Printful. And you can click them on or off. I, I'm leaving them all on. Why not? Let the class buyer choose what they want. But, but when you go up to WooCommerce, settings and then go to shipping here's right this is my domestic uh shipping for my decals and stuff i have an economy and priority okay and i had to set up all these shipping classes before for all the different products because they charge like 4.95 for a mug um, plus a dollar for each one and t-shirts was 4.95 anyway you now have this up here called printful shipping and what you do is you click this to enable the shipping method so it shows up in the cart. But then you click this one, which does disable standard WooCommerce rates for products fulfilled by Printful. So if it's a t-shirt, mug, or anything that Printful is going to ship, it will now disregard my rates for the stuff I ship and, and calculate the Printful stuff. And here we'll show you how it works in motion. Boop, 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 boop. I'm going to the front of the store. I already have two items in my cart. I'm going to remove the t-shirt. And I have its decal in my cart. So I'm going to go to view cart. So I have the decal I'm going to buy. And it shows me the two WooCommerce flat rates I have set up. A priority rate and an economy rate. Buyer chooses. Okay. Great. So I'm going to remove that from the cart. I'm going to go back to the front. I'm just going to go to t-shirts. T-shirts are fulfilled by Printful. Just pick a t-shirt. Kind of buy that peach t-shirt, so add it to the cart. And let's go to view cart and see what happens. See, my flat rates are gone now. Now in there is the Printful shipping calculator that you saw in your setup. And it's perfect. So I don't have to charge a flat rate for t-shirts at $4.95 and, you know, I make that extra dollar or whatever. But this is actually calculated what the buyer will pay for shipping. So it kind of helps the buyer out. And if you happen to buy a decal and a shirt, well, that's even, even more cool because this didn't work that way before. Let's go back to the home and we'll go back and add a decal. Let's go to Mr. Pennywise, and we'll add him. And I'm going to put this in my About page and stuff like that and warn customers. Let's go to uh, View Cart. And it does two shippings because they're coming from two different locations. And I'm going to have to do something in that, my About page to warn people that. But here's the shipping coming from me, and here's the shipping coming from Printful. So... That's nifty. 
So I'm going to empty my cart. I don't want to carry anything to my cart because then I get a uh, abandoned cart email from myself. So, I mean, that's cool. I love that part of it. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, what's next? What's next did they do? Uh, they put in here the taxes because if you, um, if you're going to collect taxes or calculate taxes from anything shipped to North Carolina and California, it's because Printful has their warehouses and printing buildings in those two locations. So they have to charge sales tax. So you check that off. Um, if you want to disable secure server, server lockets, you can do that, but you don't want to do all that. So that's all the neat stuff. Now, the next neat thing is something that Printful started about, i say a couple weeks ago, is when you guys know how I told you that you, uh, I don't do all the hard work here. And let me go to my other website and show you this. This is a t-shirt and this is all the variations of colors and sizes. And if you look here, there's six pages of variations of sizes and colors. Each color has a t-shirt the there and I'll show you why there and the weight and everything. I don't, that would take a lot of work for me to do by myself. When you go to Printful in your account, you pick your design, you pick your shirt colors, the shirt sizes you want to offer, the shirt blank, and when you pick your price, it pushes everything to your WooCommerce store and does a lot of hard work for you. Now, the new thing it does for all clothing items is it adds, I put it in the wrong place. Hmm. Let's go to a different tertiary. I did something here and it did it in the wrong place. It adds a sizing chart into the description. Um, but what it does now with this plugin, you see these tabs over here? You have additional item of the weight. If you have any reviews, it has your reviews there. Let's go to the other store. Is what it does. is it adds a new tab for the sizing chart and it puts it, the sizing chart in there so it makes it a lot neater as well so that's cool too um what i tried to do because it won't do it retroactively because i have you know a couple hundred shirts on this vinyl site but it does put the tab there If you scroll down here, you'll see the tab here. Now, I might not have done something right, because what I did is I tried to copy this out, cut it. I tried to paste it down here, and then I did an update. And I thought it would appear in that tab, but, I mean, i got to figure it out going back how to, if I'm going to even bother with that or not. But I know all products from now on will put the sizing chart in that test. You see, you put the sizing chart up here for some reason instead of the tab. So I'm going to have to figure that out and I might get back to you with that. But that's only for going back and I might not go back on all that. But for all future ones you do, it adds the size chart down here into a tab to kind of neaten up your listing. And here's what I was showing you about. If you change your size and you want or change the color you want to go with heather orange what it's going to do is it brings up the heather orange there for you and that's all that's kind of part of woocommerce the way it does it but printful did all the hard work for you of doing all those variation and adding the mock-ups the right colors to where it needs to be so there's that for you i don't think there's anything else to show you to this new uh, plugin, but it does make life a lot easier if you're doing a hybrid store. You don't have to set up all your shipping classes now. You just let Printful do your shipping. Do, 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 do. And if you wanted to, I mean, already in WooCommerce, you can go here to orders, and there's all the orders your site made. But I have, you know, Printful and my decals here. So um, if I want to see just my Printful orders. 
I can now go to the Printful item and see just my Printful orders here. And then I can end up do this link, this link here, and I'll go open that order up into Printful. Because like just the other day, Printful makes mistakes. I had an order where uh, I think it was this. Who was it? Jamie, what else? It was uh, Kathy here. She ordered two tank tops, and for some reason, she got a tank top and another shirt with not even my design. So this works real well as I find her order, and it goes right to her order, and then I can click here, problem report, and say what what happened. And I'll tell you, they were amazing. They got back to me within 30 minutes, and they said, we're sorry about this. We will send out a corrected T-shirt right away. and they said the buyer did not have to return it. They just asked, just donated it if you don't want it. And then here is the uh, the shipment of going back out again. And they shipped it out that same day within a couple hours. And I said, I said it's amazing because I was upset a little bit because this order took seven days to ship out originally. Normally they're a lot faster than that. And but I was worried that the replacement was going to take a long time. But no, they got it out. Pronto. They took care of it. No charge. No problem. You can see here down here. Problem report. I have a problem with the order. I received the order. But instead of the M tank, they got some other shirt. And I, I, I had the buyer send me a picture, which I forwarded on. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with that customer service for that problem. And you can see here, this is on Printful. The woos are all orders coming from one of my Woo sites. I have three or four Woo sites with Printful right now. And the gear is a uh, order that came through eBay. See, eBay store. I can go to my stores and show you here. I'm getting off the plug-in, but yeah, there's my eBay store, Inktail. I have my vinyl site. This is a Store Envy site. And a couple other of them, I have my uh, WooCommerce sites. So, that is it and oh i might as well show you how to do it um go to plugins if you don't have the plugin already installed go to plugins add new and then go up here in keywords and type in printful and it will bring up the printful plugin and here it would say install and then it installs it and then you click active and you're done it takes a couple minutes then you'll have to go back in um, if you're not already connected, um, if you're doing a brand new store, it will ask you to connect to your Printful store and it will ask you for your information and maybe your API key. And let's see if I can find where you get your API key. Whoop, wrong one. Printful. Let's go find our API key. I think it's under my account. No. Stores. Well, I'm not going to be able to show you where I get that, I don't think. I'm not sure. Nope. I can't. No, I guess you're on your own there. It will tell you there where to find your API key. It's not hard. I mean, this whole setup takes less than five minutes from... I mean, if you want to start, start from scratch, maybe I should do a video next time I do a niche store. I'll do a video on starting from scratch, creating, you know, loading up your WordPress. Actually, and I do it through my host. You'll open your WordPress, install WooCommerce, install the Printful plugin. The whole setup will take you less than 10 minutes, and then you're ready to start adding products. But this video, I kind of got off track there. This video was on the Printful plugin and, and the new features, and that's it. Those are the new features. It's made life easier. If you're new, um, down below, I have a link to the Printful store. I appreciate if you sign up through that link. It is an affiliate link, and I get a little something for you signing up. Um, I don't have links to WordPress or Woo. I should do that, but 
do that through your hosting, um, whatever host. I recommend, I should probably put that down there, and I'll, I'll get that link down there. So I recommend SiteGround.com for hosting. They're a little bit pricier than shops like GoDaddy or HostGator, but their customer service and uptime and everything is top notch. I have not had an issue with them. I can't say the same for HostGator and GoDaddy. They have been problems for me for years. Um, so I will put that link down below too for SiteGround. Uh, great host. And you, you pay, uh, you don't pay month by month. You pay a year in advance or two years in advance. And then, um, yeah, it's great. So yeah, the next video will be on setting up WordPress with an SSL certificate, WooCommerce, Printful, where you go, you have a secure shopping experience in 10 to 15 minutes. Don't hold me to that. But I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you have lots of sales. Remember, choose to be happy. I'm happy. Always happy. I'll talk to you guys later.